Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna do a dive deep into Theta and I promise you by the end of this video you're gonna have a much better understanding what is happening with the price of Theta. So please stand till the end and as well for those who are wondering where did we disappear I'm gonna talk a little bit about it at the end of the video if you're interested. So let's jump in. Okay, hello friends, how are you? Let's take a look at Theta chart. We're gonna do some comparison and mostly of course we're gonna focus on Theta to understand what's going on. So I wanna compare the chart of Theta with FTM and show you plus minus what can be happening. So on chart FTM on Phantom, we can see a very clear five waves uh, that our price provided us and I want to go a little bit deeper to see how far this price was able to go. So let's use our Fibonacci. We're going to take the last peak. We're going to go all the way to the bottom and we can see that this, the first wave, which is usually the small wave and usually the first wave is similar to the last fifth wave. And we know that the third wave is the strongest wave of them all. So we can see the first wave did extremely good. We reach our extension 4.236, which is for me the danger zone and the time to start looking to get in out of position, especially on the first wave. And we can take a look what happened on our third wave. So uh, Phantom almost reached my top extension, which is 34. So it did reach 21 and then had a pullback. And the last one, we can see it's also arrived already into the danger zone, the fifth wave. So for me, I'm not sure if Phantom can actually break this area and continue going up. But we see that it's also reached the 4.236 extension, which is my danger zone. So we can see that we have this impulse wave. We see that after the third wave, we had a very long um, correction. And we can see plus minus it was going in a channel, it had a fake out and went in the channel. Now I want to go to chart of theta and take a look what's going on with theta and if we can see some similarities. So what I do see in the chart of theta, if we're going to take a look these same waves on the big time frame, we're on a weekly time frame, it's very easy to see what might be happening. And also we're going to talk deeper what have to happen for actually this fifth wave go up and how far can it go. So let's take a look at our Fibonacci. Again, we're going to take the top uh, here. We're going to go to the bottom and we can see that Theta, it didn't reach quite all the way to our, uh, let me get it so you can see. It didn't reach all the way to the danger zone. So we almost reached 3.61. So let's remember this, that we almost reached this area. So we can kind of see where it might go in the future. And then we can see that our wave three, it was a very big wave. And let's take a look how far it reached. If we can find some similarities as well with Phantom. So we can see Phantom reach these areas Theta actually was stronger and it reached the top of the extension of 34 on Fibonacci retracement. And we can see that here we uh, got rejected after a few times to try and break in it. And we start our downtrend and that's where our third wave finished. And now we have this long correction that it's kind of similar to what was going on uh, with Phantom. Plus, I believe what we actually build in here, we build in here a bull flag and it does seem maybe a little bit weird, but let's take a look, for example, what a bull flag looks like. So we have downtrend and then we are trying to build accumulation and here we creating the pull, we have the flag and yes, it can take a long time to create it. And what we can see that here towards the end, we start seeing candles that can show us probably over reversal. We see here we got indecision candle. We see we got here a nice bullish hammer candle. 
and most of the chances after something like this that we're going to be going up plus we were able to keep this support and we were able to keep this support of our downtrend so let's see how it looks on theta as well we can see that we created the pull flag uh, from our support here that we build and now we're going downtrend but we are not breaking this support as well we have a strong support in this area well, it's not that strong but these are the areas that we must keep so we're not going to be falling down so if we're looking at risk reward this is the lowest risk we can take because we are here at a very strong support and we are the, the most of the chances that we're going to reverse from here so if we look in when is the best time to purchase theta and i just want to remind you this is not a financial advice i'm not financial advisor just sharing here what i'm thinking what i'm thinking would be happening and i'm very positive about this move and let's see if we can figure out where we might be reaching so if you remember when we uh, looked at the first wave theta reach almost 3.61 extension again i'm not that risky i'm not going to be waiting all the way here if we're going to reach or not but if we will we see we have potential to reach over 40 dollars right but of course if you are a trader you want to be taking profits on the way up if you're a holder you decide by yourself when you want to cash out or if you want to continue holding it for many years but it's always good to take profits and keep some of the money in your pocket so we can see that as soon we're gonna break this area of resistance that we've been finding for a very very long time if we can break this area we are probably gonna be going somewhere toward this area as we can see from our first wave and usually the fifth wave very similar to the first sometimes it get overextended sometimes it might be shorter that's why i'm talking about taking profit profits while we're going up again up to you what you want to do but the optimal area for me it's this to get in in i'm not only looking on theta chart of course i want to understand what's happening with the bitcoin because we know how strong it can uh, ruin all our plans but i'm also looking on theta and bdc chart and we can see that we also on theta btc chart at a very very strong level that before was a very strong resistance because we can see as soon as we reach this price area how strong it pushed us down and after a lot of struggle we were able to break it and now we're just retesting it so for me again this is show as an optimal point with the lowest risk i can get to get into theta and we can see that we're creating here this falling wedge and usually falling wedge it's a bullish reversal uh, there's about 70 percent chance break to the upside so this is look for me like an amazing risk reward area and especially uh, seeing that these things did play out in other charts in other coins and we clearly can see the waves here of course it doesn't mean it have to happen 100 percent but we can see that things looking pretty good for theta there's uh, i know t drop coming soon so maybe we having in the short term this nice run but overall i also want to show you what's going on we are on the weekly chart and we can see that our price of theta were continuously going down but we can see on our macd that we creating a bullish divergence it happens when the prices are going down but our buying power is getting not going down as the price and it's getting stronger the the sellers are getting tired so it does look positive for now and we want to continue to see this MACD going up and eventually we're going to get across so uh, we can see on the stock uh, stochastic that we are trying to cross to the upside and we're trying to start our bullish momentum so all of this we yet to see if this is going to be happening but again for me as risk reward to have this kind of entry to the market it's it's a pretty nice entry let me see okay here it is so 
if we're gonna see something like that just one second let's take a look what we can do so we can put a stop loss very very close and we can take our profit as we know we can take all the way up to the 40 dollars and probably a little bit higher we don't know but if we can see that our stop loss can be just below this area of a strong support and our risk to reward is just crazy we can uh, put on a line 20 percent so if we do fall lower we can lose 20 percent but if we're gonna go higher we have a lot of room i know the price is a little bit higher now so it's probably gonna be something like this and you're gonna be risking 34 percent but if you missed this area i don't think you should be jumping right in because i believe bitcoin gonna be reversing i believe that we're trying to find the bottom so uh, we went as low as 33,000. we're probably gonna go retest this area again before we're gonna be start reversing but i believe we're pretty much at the bottom we're trying to find it so based on all of this thing the way i'm looking at bitcoin the way i'm thinking theta looks right now this is an optimal optimal entry point and i think that if this fifth wave and the last wave going to be playing out is going to be very profitable especially with sitting at three dollar theta and there's still very very good potential to reach this 40 dollars so theta looks amazing to me i'm gonna do a next video on solana and i believe that solana already in a bear market so whoever is holding solana i just want to provide a video and explain what i think so if you very sitting very heavy on solana that you will know how to get out of this situation in a better way how to dca a little bit before we're gonna have reversal to the upside and when we can take our profits try to take our money out and minimize the loss because i know probably a lot of people entering at a very high prices because this is where is all the hype is happening but yeah for now theta looking great i want to see how the weekly close gonna happen if we're gonna close somewhat like that that's gonna be amazing it's gonna be probably showing more to the reversal it's gonna look almost like a bullish hammer uh, would be nice if the week would be longer but it doesn't matter still it looks much better that we are able to hold this support we are holding this uh, support as well and it looks like a beautiful bull flag that probably gonna break to the upside again it's time we're gonna take some time to see how it's gonna be performing and how it's gonna be happening so far looking great okay and whoever is wondering where did we disappear and what happened we <laughs> we had some people asking did they got divorced uh, divorced were they kicked out out of the country no we moved to a beautiful beautiful country by the name of dominican republic and we just took some time off we really needed some time with the family reconnect enjoy the nature enjoy the beach put our feet in the sand so this is what we've been up to and we're going to be probably sharing more uh, maybe videos maybe some pictures just uh, to share with you about our life here in dominican republic which is amazing so far i hope you all doing great please guys click the like button if you like the video subscribe and i really hope now you have a much better understanding what's going on with theta and to see that at it, it, these levels we're taking very very low risk compared to the profits we can make in the market so do your own decisions me you know what i'm doing i'm thinking we're going up i believe that bitcoin just about to find its bottom so i'm definitely bullish on theta and i believe we might see 40 dollars after all okay my friend stay safe stay healthy again none of this financial advice i appreciate you watching our video adios okay.